Yeah, hey there, Mike. Experts say there are a lot of different types of algae blooms going on off the California coast, but one particular bloom they found not too far from where we're at right now has them concerned for wild birds. This picture, recently taken at the Newport Beach Pier, was a sign that a type of microalgae that can have a very harmful effect on the wings of birds was in the water. And they can't dry off, so they become hypothermic. And so we have seen episodes in California with this particular group of phytoplankton where lots of birds died um, and basically froze to death. And we don't want that. For that reason, researchers want people to notify local rescue organizations like the Wetlands and Wildlife Care Center in Huntington Beach if they see any birds that look like they've been affected. And if you're wondering if this bloom will create one of those bioluminescence events that makes the water look like it glows in the dark, experts say no. That's caused by a different kind of bloom. We haven't seen a huge number of that particular organism at Newport Beach Pier. We're seeing more of it here at, um, down at Scripps Pier where I am in San Diego. Um, so we may in fact see some bioluminescence down here. And I can't preclude that for Newport Beach. It might happen. Um, this is a very dynamic situation. Now, you may remember recently we did a story about dead sea lions showing up on Orange County's coast. It was a different type of algae bloom suspected in those cases than in what we're seeing right here with the birds. Now, the good news right now is all the organizations that look into this say so far they haven't heard any reports of birds being affected by this, but this information just came out. That's why they pushed it out to let all those organizations know and also folks know just to keep an eye on the birds for now to see if you see any symptoms of what they're talking about. For now, reporting live in Newport Beach in Corona Del Mar, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News. Chip, thank you.